hi everyone and welcome to a new video if you're new to my channel i'm suma from lebanon i love crochet and i love sharing my own tutorials with everyone so today we're going to make this slouchy mini but before starting please don't forget to like this video if you like it and to subscribe hit the subscribe button and to share this tutorial with your beloved ones i hope my tutorial and this pattern will be clear and you'll like it so i'm using a yarn called nako pop mix and it's 25 percent wool and 75 percent acrylic it's indicated that i need to use a crochet hook of size 2 so i usually use a, a crochet hook in millimeters so i'm using a 12 millimeter crochet hook it looks like this i need it to be big so my stitch would be loose and not thick since the stitch i'm working with is a bit thick and it's unique so i will show you how to make this stitch this very special stitch and first i'm going to make my magic knot and chain four as you can see the yarn is a bit small in comparison to the crochet hook size so don't worry our stitch will be thick anyway so insert your hook in the first chain and pull out your yarn through both loops to form a ring you can make your magic ring instead of this step next I'm going to chain one yarn over and inside the ring make a half double crochet so we'll be working with half double crochets but not as we usually do i will show you exactly how to make them so here i've made one double or one half double crochet and again continue making 12 half double crochets until you get a full circle so i'm going to finish these 12 half double crochets and come back to show you what's next And now I finished my 12 half double crochets. I'm going to insert my hook in the first stitch and look how I'm going to insert my hook. Usually we insert the hook at the bottom of the two loops of each stitch. So we insert it in the top of each stitch. But here we're going to count three loops instead of two. So as you can see, I've skipped three loops and inserted my hook under the three loops and made a slip stitch. Here you can see a space. I'm going to show it to you again. So now we've completed the first row and I'm going to start with row number, number two and chain one, yarn over and look how I'm going to insert my hook at the bottom of each stitch at the same time i'm going to increase the number of stitches from 12 to 24 so that means i'm going to make two stitches in each stitch here as you can see we have three loops the two at the top and one at the bottom here i'm not going to insert my hook under the two loops at the top i'm going to skip the third loop as well and insert my hook under the three loops all together where i put my finger my lower finger i'm going to insert the hook and pull the yarn out two times to make two half double crochets and next you will see the difference between the stitches as you can see we can uh, relate to the tunisian stitch so it will look so similar to the Tunisian uh, crochet 
that's nice because it's easy and at the same time it's uh, unique and lovely and cute so here i finished a 24 stitch row i've increased or doubled the number of stitches again i'm inserting my hook in the first stitch under the three loops and making a slip stitch to finish off this row next i'm going to start with row number three and as usual i will chain one yarn over insert my hook under the three loops and make a half double crochet mm -hmm. so row number three will be without increasing the number of stitches will remain 24 i'm going to work two rows without increasing so row number three and row number four will be 24 stitches of half double crochets we are going to work all the half double crochets using the same method so now when we finished the four rows i'm going to increase again as usual we're going to chain one and then work one half double crochet in the first stitch and then in the second stitch i'm going to make two half double crochets so i already have 24 stitches now i'm increasing 12 stitches so the total number of stitches will be 36 at the end of this row finish the increases and come back to continue our pattern and after i finished this row i'm going to insert my hook in the first stitch again and make a slip stitch and here how it looks like So in the next four rows I'm going to work without increasing and here is the final result I've worked four rows without increasing the total number of stitches is 36 and in the next row I'm going to increase again so chain one work one double or one half double crochet in the first stitch one half double crochet in the sec second stitch in the second stitch and in the third stitch work two half double crochets as you can see and finish this row you will get 48 stitches in total and here they are the 48 stitches and again finish this row by slip, a slip stitch in the first stitch here I'm going to continue working and I will start decreasing the number of stitches because I need it to be tied around the head but before I will work one row without increasing or decreasing so here I finished one row without increasing any stitch and now I will start decreasing in this row so the first half double crochet will be one half double crochet in the first stitch the second will be one half double crochet and in the third and fourth stitches i'm going to join these two stitches together as you can see in one half double crochet so the step will be yarn over insert in the first stitch pull your yarn out then yarn over again in the second stitch insert your hook and pull your yarn and pull your yarn from all five loops and here I'm going to repeat the steps as you can see five loops yarn over and pull through the five loops all together so after finishing this row by decreasing the number of stitches now the stitches the total number of stitches is, is 36 and i'm going to continue working by working in the same way now we're going to decrease the number of stitches to 24 using the same method so the first stitch will will make one half double crochet in the first stitch and the second and the third stitch will join them into one half double crochet the total number of stitches should be 24 at the end of this row so after finishing this row you can see we have like a jar or a bowl it looks like a bowl 
and now we're going to work without decreasing any stitch so now we finished increasing and decreasing we don't need any more increases or decreases so here I will make one row without decreasing any stitch so the total number will be 24 as the previous row finish this row and we're going to start making the edges and we will be working in a different way so here finish your row and come back and now start by chaining one and making one double crochet in the first stitch we aren't going to be working under the three loops we'll be working as normally we would do we will make one double crochet under the two loops at the top and this row will be entirely double crochets work normally and the total of stitches will be 24 stitches so finish this row all double crochets and come back after finishing this double crochet row here i'm going to finish my row with inserting my hook and making a slip stitch and now i will start making the edges so first i'm going to chain one as usual and make one double crochet in the first stitch at the top of the stitch as you can see next i'm going to yarn over and insert my hook behind the second stitch like this we're going to be working one normal double crochet and one double crochet from behind so this is the step we're going to be using and finish working this row by working one double crochet at the top of the stitch and one double crochet from behind the stitch like this it's very easy so finish this row and repeat these steps as much as you need to get the edge that you're comfortable with the size of your head so as you go by working the edges please make sure to try it and check if it suits you well so i'm going to work about four or five rows using this method and i will be done when i finish these rows so i will finish these rows and come back to you After finishing four rows of this stitch, I will switch to crochet hook number 10. I use a smaller crochet hook to make the last row because I need the edge of this beanie or any beanie to be tight around my forehead. So as you can see, I switched to crochet hook number 10 millimeters and I'm going to work in the same method but with the smaller hook so here I will insert my hook and make a chain and work as we did before make a double crochet in the first stitch and in the second stitch or around the second stitch from behind I'm going to make a double crochet in the same method we're working with for the edges so I will finish this row and here is my beanie it's tighter around the forehead and it's better so that's it guys i hope you like this pattern it's very easy and unique it's a unique stitch and a lovely stitch i hope you liked it and i hope you make as much as you want of wonderful beanies thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like see you on the next video and goodbye take care